Marvel Legends fans and collectors. Thanks for tuning into another video. We've got Marvel's War Machine next up. Just picked this one up from JB Hi-Fi just a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this one, actually. It was um, sort of a toss-up between this one and the sort of retro one that's going to be blessing our shelves or pegs um, anytime soon, really. I think they're both pretty much slated for a side-by-side um, -side release, so... I don't know, it's probably probably maybe a little bit more of a wait, but um decided with this one. Decided to go with the deluxe. Um and yeah, I just I really like the look of this one. I think it looks good. Awesome range of accessories. Um and this is if if the Star Wars team is watching, <laughs> this is how you do a deluxe. Um Marvel has that absolutely locked down. Yeah, it comes with a lot of accessories that we've seen, you know, multiple times, but it's how you do it. It's how you do it. It's how you make these figures, you know, stand stand out from the basic release. So let's just open them up and we'll go through accessories and take a look at the figure. All right, here we have Colonel James Rhodes standing in front of you. Awesome looking figure, but we're going to take a look at all the accessories first because that's just everything comes with the fantastic. So what we do have... For his feet, we do have a couple of these sort of blast effects, which will fit onto the pegs of his boots, which is awesome. They look good. So not only that, but these are very reminiscent of the uh, Chopper Black Series figure, because they do come with the sort of smoke base effect, and they sort of just slot in there nicely. So you can have these at the, as a almost as a base. So yeah, like I said, it comes with two of them. Pretty sure they're the same. There's slight differences between them, so that's cool. So yeah, you have them side by side, and you can really have him sort of blasting off with those. And uh, yeah, really nicely painted. So he's got that sort of clear plastic with a bit of smoke over the top. It's really well done. So they're 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 cool. I think these two are pretty probably the same piece as well. No, they appear to be different as well. So we've got a left and right. So that's awesome. They seem to slot in there nice and tight. So another effect we get is sort of blast effect from it will fit. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to work all these out. <laughs> out obviously so yeah almost a sort of a sweeping blast so this is just sort of fanning out that looks cool i like that a lot so yeah i'm just sort of working out these as i go just the way they sort of fit on so we do have these Small little blast effects. There's two that will fit in his sort of arm cannon like that. So that's awesome. Not a perfect fit there, but that's okay. I'm sure there's um I'm sure there's another spot they could go as well. So um we also have some sort of smoke effects from their smoking gun is really really cool so that's a nice effect I really like that I haven't seen these before but that's uh that's fantastic and I suppose they'll work on any Marvel Legends weapon that has a hole in the end to peg them into that's which is cool I like that a lot I don't know there's something about that is badass <laughs> And we do have this bigger blast, which looks like it will just sort of fit over the top of that shoulder, shoulder cannon, which is just freaking awesome. He's just so loaded. <laughs> so many good weapons with this figure. And then, last but not least, that one, will, that one just popped off. This cannon here, this, um, I don't, I don't know what the names are. A little bit twisted in the packaging, so I'm gonna to have to go, you know, sort of see a little bit, a little bit warped. So I'll go chuck that under some hot water and get it to flex back into its proper, proper position. 
but yeah last but not least for the effects we have this sort of little rocket effect and uh looks like most of these are you know take you can take them off so you could use the rockets elsewhere you know whether you're just having a little weapons display or something but that should fit on there nicely so you can have Rhodey absolutely going to town on whoever he's fighting and that'll look so good so yeah the effects aside we'll just pop those ones off move them to the side we'll get a look at the figure so yeah really nice really nice sculpt the paint works nice and clean you know mostly silvers and blacks little touches of red but um yeah the sort of nice silver of the suit and the nice sort of matte black of the armor looks really good i've no idea whether this is like a good war machine <laughs> i haven't had a comic war machine before but i do like they've gone with the sort of modern armor style there with the sort of shoulder flap and doesn't appear to have um, butterfly joints in the arms but that's okay so the legs look like they've been reused from something else being that they've got the still got the pins um, but we do have the pinless arms which is nice so a little bit of new stuff and here we have James Rhodes head you can swap that out let's see how easy this is a nice snug fit so yeah a double double ball bar double barbell joint up on top there oh, i've lost the head <laughs> that's a nice snug tight fit there so that looks good roadie looks like these you can sort of pivot up and down the back which is awesome A nice sort of group just to slot up there to move so if you have them in flight mode or just you know a non-threatening pose <laughs> so the joints are quite stiff sort of those cut joints there on the thighs are quite stiff so they will move i'm just going to be very very careful about it i may have to heat up that plastic now oh, there we go just need a little bit of a budge but yeah, nice, nice tight sort of joints, which is good, what you want. There's nothing more annoying than getting a really loose, really loose joint straight out of the packaging. After playing with it for a little while, you're sort of, you know, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's Colonel James Rhodes as War Machine. I think he looks fantastic. I do want to just sort of display him, put him up on these stands. Just want to see how... How he balances. It may take a little bit of a little bit of tweaking. But yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it's a little bit just to sort of balance out those two pieces. But I think it'll work alright with a little bit of playing. But being that I'm uh, just sort of doing it on the fly here. Ta-da! Awesome. Yeah, big fan of this figure. This looks great. Series. Colonel James Rhodes, War Machine, signing out. Stay tuned for more reviews coming up. Got a couple more. The last of the Infinity Ultron Wave. So, hope you've enjoyed this look. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.